said I wouldn't do this. I said I wouldn't do this. I very much said I wouldn't be following Need for Speed whilst following the game as hard as I'm about to be doing. So unless you've been living under a rock or you've been dead and you've just resurrected yourself, then you know that the Need for Speed Twitter page has been releasing screenshots. Uh, yesterday they released a skyline of the suggested playground we're going to be playing in on the next Need for Speed game. And today they've released a skyline picture. Well, a picture with a skyline in it next to a skyline. So what can we take from this picture? What can we get from it? Now, the actual car itself we had in the last game, we can't really take much from that. We can see a spoiler on there that I believe was in the last game too. It's in a nice orange colour. It's it's picking up some smokes, picking up some dirt. But we don't know entirely what the car looks like. I can't really get much from the car itself. But one, one thing I want to speak about, and I don't know if anyone else has spoken about this or, or, or talked about it, uh, is the floor. Bear with me. So we know that the game is going to be in a... Well, we're suggesting it's going to be in a interpretation of Las Vegas. We know this from the uh, silhouette of the skyline that shows various buildings that I guess people recognize from Las Vegas. People were saying Seattle also has a building which is similar but I I would say it would be more towards Vegas, the whole casino thing and, and the whole, you know, the, the, the salt flat. It, it just all makes sense to me compared to Seattle. Now why does the floor intrigue me? makes no sense really it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a weird thing to talk about now maybe because of it being in las vegas or the speculation of it being in a place like las vegas salt flats are obviously going to be a, a key thing in the game because they're big wide and cars can go fast on them it, it would make complete sense for them to involve salt flats of some sort now if you look at the screenshot it, it, it's very broad and there isn't much around the car like it, there's absolutely nothing now I don't know if they're just gonna start releasing more and more screenshots and it will start filling up this space around the actual car it's totally 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 a guess and um, um, there's no facts or evidence behind it really I'm just speculating at this point but I really feel like a place on the map which has the salt flaps would be really really fun to have it would involve drag races which could be done properly this time and in just place a place to just do donuts and be fucking ridiculous plus with that frostbite engine you know that shit's gonna look absolutely stunning ridiculous it's gonna look mad i did try and zoom in to the number plate on the skyline but i couldn't really get close enough to actually get any place or name that maybe the the city could be called or the uh the the place but i'm pretty sure we'll be getting some information sometime soon so that's nothing to worry about i'm pretty sure that'll be coming other than that i feel like it's just great to know that we're gonna get a day and night cycle we're gonna get always offline or online not always online and stuff and being able to play alone we're gonna get a story mode we're gonna get you know rhinos and police cars and there's going to be a need for speed experience that i feel like a lot of people wanted in the last one but just didn't get and it that's exciting for me it means that need for speed is coming to a neat place it's tidying itself up and it's refining itself and if these screenshots aren't proof that they are listening to what we are saying then i don't know what is so what are your guys thoughts on this what do you want what do you want to see next are you excited or do you want me to kill myself for being an autistic prick on camera? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next installment. Thank you for watching. Said that twice.